turn with me, if you will, to a familiar passage from the Sermon on the Mount to Jesus' seminal statement of what it means to live out his kingdom in the here and now. Uh, ver- chapter 5 and verses 13 uh, to 16. Familiar words, I'm sure. I'm reading them from the New, New, uh, New International Version. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on the stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. One of the first things I wanted to remind us of as we think about what church is supposed to be, particularly in this time and and looking forward to when we are released uh, from lockdown is that here Jesus makes a statement. Remember, he's talking to, right at the beginning of his ministry, uh, to primarily his disciples, those he's called. We know that from the parallel passage in Luke, where the passage begins by Jesus naming and calling it, gives us the names. He's talking to those he has chosen to, to serve him. And he says to them, you are not you will be not you might be but you are the salt you are the light as one commentator i read put it this way being salt and light is not optional jesus did not say you can be or you have potential to be he said you are that means you. You in your home, maybe on your own, maybe in the, the sheltered uh, group of individuals, uh, advancing in years, maybe with underlying health conditions, maybe you are at home with your children who are driving you crazy right now because, because of their almost incessant need for attention and almost worse, their incessant need for feeding. You are uh, the frontline worker who is, is just managing to, to grasp a few hours of rest before going back out there to serve our community, whether in a nursing or a care home or, or in a, a critical care ward in a hospital. You are. Maybe you are a furloughed at the moment you're not sure what's going to happen in a few weeks time they're saying for now they're going to hold your job and you're going to get at least 80 percent of your pay but who knows in six weeks two months time what the situation will be jesus says you are you are salt to the world you are light to the world not only to the world, but of the world. In other words, we are reminded that was it not for our presence, the world would be a little bit darker, a little bit less salty. You are. Everyone that Jesus has called are called to be, to be salt, to be the light. Especially in times of crisis as we face right now. 
I even remind you that the, 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 the two metaphors that Jesus used were, were well known, that people understood them perfectly well. They, they understood that for, 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 for them, salt had a particular number of uses. Flavoring. Um, adding some preservative qualities stopping decay. Uh, Roman soldiers were often paid in salt, their wages. Uh, we're told that the Greeks, uh, some Greeks thought of salt as being having some special powers. Indeed, even in Leviticus 2 and verse 13, uh, the law of Moses, of Moses required that all offerings were presented containing salt. And what about light? What are the characteristics of light? Where, 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 where salt is, is to counteract, light illuminates. And that means for you and I today, there are certain things that God is requiring of us, certain things that he's expecting of us in our communities, in our families perhaps to be, to make a difference. And so I ask you, are you being salt? Are you being light? Or are we contributing to the darkness by negative attitudes, impious words and actions? When our neighbours look at us during this time, will they celebrate that we made a difference in their lives, even by just saying hello and waving and giving a smile that might brighten up somebody's life, as well as offering to, to do the shopping or to run other errands? Uh, cutting grass or, or picking up litter or, or, or whatever it might be. The God who has called us to be salt. Jesus who has enabled us to be light. Is providing every day I believe opportunities for us to shine for him. But are we taking up those opportunities? Or are we too self-absorbed? The world needs you and I. God requires you and I to be salt, to be the like. No excuses. And if you're worried about what that means, pray. Pray. You are to be a beacon. And that's echoed in Philippians 2 and verse 15, where the Apostle Paul declares, Believers, you are to shine as light in the world. The beacon is bright. I don't know if you were with me a couple of weeks ago, where uh, the adventurers in the afternoon online were discussing uh, an e-honour about lighthouses. I was fascinated one of the things that was very clear is that without those lighthouses many lives over the centuries would have been lost without the faithfulness of those lighthouse keepers without the ingenuity of those who even though times changed and they didn't need the human beings to light and run or they're done electronically the lighthouses are still, many of them, needed today. See, just as technology has changed from the way we do and they operationalize our church, the light still is to shine. So either we are the light, 
or we're letting God down. You decide. May it be that you and I, guided by the Spirit, will shine. The world needs it. And God tells us we are. And he will empower us to be what he calls us to be. And so we pray, Father in heaven, thank you. Thank you for trusting us, even when we don't, like the early disciples, know everything, know much perhaps. But you still call and say, you are. And as we found, whenever you speak, you enable. If you declare us to be something, that's what we are. And you will provide the power and the wherewithal. All you need is a willing heart. So may we simply surrender to your will. And may you help us to become in our homes, in our communities, the salt and the light that this world needs at this time, we pray in Jesus' name and by his Spirit. Amen.